also, we have a new setup. I don't know how I feel about it, but all my laundry is on my chair, which my tripod is precariously balanced on. <laughs> However, that's not really the reason why I'm filming here. The reason I'm filming here is because I have my lamp that you'll have seen behind me in videos. But it has a reading light that's really fucking bright um, and I am still recovering from some semi-blindness from staring at it. I now have a t-shirt covering it just to kind of soften it. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I look really shiny. I also have a nice big scratch down there because Hector was so excited to see me this morning that his claws went into my face because he's still a puppy. He doesn't get much walking yet. So he hasn't filed his claws down. Anyway, <laughs> we are trying out this new filming location for at least the next two videos because I'm filming two videos in a row because prepared. <laughs> Hi everyone! Today I'm here with a very short February book haul. I don't really know why I'm bothering because I have three books to share with you guys but may as well. <laughs> The first book that I'm going to share with you guys is one I found in a charity shop, so it's like the only book that I bought this month and I'm very proud of myself. I have This One Summer by Gillian Tamaki and Mariko Tamaki. This is a graphic novel. I think it's non-fiction? No, it's fiction? I don't really know, but I know it's a graphic novel and I mean it's, it's like not black and white, it's like white and purple? I don't know, but it just looks look really good and a graphic novel apparently fucks the white balance, there we go. <laughs> graphic novels are super quick to get to, which makes no sense when as you guys know, in at least 2020 I am having friends pick my TBR so if none of my friends loved this book or hated this book or know of this book and decide they want me to read it, I'm not reading it anytime soon. I mean, I could because I could say fuck it, I'm going to just read it because I want to but like I'm more likely to want to read the books that they pick for me do you know that's the whole point of that TBR like it's not like I'm doing a blog tour so I need to read it and I can justify <laughs> reading it over my friends picks but I have it in case I need a graphic novel maybe I read it in December when I'm trying to hit my goal last minute the next book I have what I was so fucking excited to receive a copy of and it is the finished copy of Harley in the Sky by Kemi Don Bowman my voice just kind of cracked there or wobble it did something oh we all know how much Emma loves a Kemi Dombleman and we all know how much I love this book. I made a book tag for it, I will link it up here and down there and wherever. Be warned, I almost pass out during it, like I literally take a funny turn and then I go and vomit and then two hours later I come back and finish the video because dedication to supporting my gal, a Kemi, I say my gal, I'm part of her street team um, for this book, so like she's my gal. I am promoing the shit out of this book, which comes out in like two weeks. I can't believe it. Like we've been in this street team since like, oh my God, like July or something ridiculous. So like, I just, I can't believe this book is gonna be out and in people's hands. I mean, it's already in some people's hands or doing the blog tour. I am doing the blog tour, I'm kicking it off on March 1st. So I really wanted to reread this before doing that, but I'm just not gonna have the time and I don't wanna rush my way through it because as I say, I love it so much. So yeah, um, I actually have a little, a little thingamajig with all the blog tour info, although my Twitter is incorrect on it. It's got my YouTube username around my Twitter name. But it's fine. I adore this. This is about a girl called Harley whose parents run this like massive circus in Vegas but they won't let her perform as an aerialist. So she decides, fuck it, I'm gonna run off with a traveling circus. Which you know, her parents can't really give her shit for going off and joining a circus because like they own a circus. But she tries to be an aerialist and it's just, I love it so much. I just, oh, I actually took, where is it? I got given a bound manuscript, which, oh, I just noticed the difference in colors. It's light, this, this one's darker, this one's lighter. Um, anyway, I, I took this with me down to Blackpool and I went and took a picture of it in Blackpool Tower Circus, which is like the longest permanent station circus. I don't fucking know, but I took it with me. And I cannot fucking wait for you guys to read this. Like you all need to read it. It is so, so good. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on the street team. I'm on the street team because I knew I would love it because I just love Akemi and I'm gonna shut up so I can just gush 
in my blog tour video. <laughs> I realised I kind of went out of order, I was going to talk about Harley last, but it doesn't really matter because we have three books to talk about. <laughs> I'm equally excited about them all. Um, well, okay, that's a lie. I'm always more excited about Harley, but I've already read Harley. Shut up, Emma. <laughs> the last book I have to haul for you guys in February. What is this energy today? I'm kind of digging it. Um, I have Hunting Prince Dracula by Kerry Maniscalco. Now, Stalking Jack the Ripper, this is the sequel to Stalking Jack the Ripper, and Stalking Jack the Ripper disappointed me. I think I gave it three stars. It just wasn't what I wanted it to be. But then every time like a new book was coming out, I was like, oh, but I want to read a book about Houdini and I want to read this and nah, nah, nah. And people have said that the books get better as they go on. So I was like, right, I want to give them a chance. I did not buy this. I did not request this. This showed up from Amazon with nothing. No gift receipt, no gift note, nothing. I tweeted about it and nobody has came forward to tell me that they sent me this. And it is driving me fucking crazy. Like, sorry, but it really is. I want to know who sent me this, because like, why? Like, you just sent it out of the blue. Like, I'm so grateful. But like, until you tell me who you are, I'm just not going to read it. Until somebody tells me that they want me to read it in my year of friends picking TBR thing, then I can have to read it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> please tell me who you are. Please tell me why you sent me this. Like, I just... You know, like, I love the book community because we, like, you know, so I know some people go on random, like, wish list sprees and, you know, birthdays and Christmas and stuff. But, like, just getting this out of the blue, like, the only thing I can think, because, like, it came, obviously, when I've been having a really shitty time. Like, I, I mention this in every video, but, like, it's very relevant to my life right now. Like, life hasn't been fabulous. So the only thing I can think is, like, somebody's aware of what's been going on and wanted to, like, cheer me up, which it really fucking did. But, like, I need to know who you are. <laughs> I don't think you'll understand. Like, it will annoy me for the rest of my life. So like, please tell me who you are so I can read it and love it and thank you. And if I hate it, I can still thank you for thinking of me. <laughs> I don't think I'll hate it, I'm very, oh, sorry, I just noticed there's a skull on the back. I, I'm very excited actually for this one because Dracula. Um, so yeah, thank you and please tell me who you are. And that is it. That it's all three books that I acquired in February. I'm doing so freaking well. I spent a total of a pound this month on books. I really feel like I'm forgetting one, but I know I'm not. I've like triple checked and that is all the books that I got. And this doesn't feel like me. Like I am out of focus, but I am the gal who, this was working and now it's not. What is going on? There we go, I don't know. I don't know, I just, it feels weird only having three books. How did I ever make a video where I talked about 70 books? I don't understand. But that is it. I'm going to leave it there. Can you imagine this video, the unedited footage is under 10 minutes. Like, go me. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Comment if you want. Subscribe if you haven't and feel the need to. I don't know. Most of my viewers seem to not be subscribed to me if YouTube analytics are correct. And that is just... I was gonna say it's rude, but let's be real. I don't, I, I don't know, it doesn't matter, do what you want. <laughs> See you guys in my next video, bye.